start gluing. <sighs> hey, do you want me gluing and Well, I don't really know for sure, but I'm guessing I'll just pop them out, put glue in there, just give it to you to stick back in. And get it all lined up. All right, next step is get all of these glued in here. We spaced them out, got them marked on the bottom, so we're just gonna pop them out, put a line of glue, stick them back in there. We're not gonna glue the top yet. We'll put the top on to hold them all straight where they're supposed to be. And then once the bottom dries good, we'll pop the top off, put a bunch of glue on them, stick it back on there. We're gonna be measuring it though to make sure that when the top goes on, just to kind of hold it, we're gonna make sure these are all sitting still straight so that the spaces on the bottom and the top are the same. But the measurements turned out to be pretty good. They're all within the standard. Yeah. The sides, Slightly smaller. The sides are just a little different than the front and back, but can't even tell looking at them. You have to measure them. Yeah, I'm trying to... It's like within a sixteenth or something. I like. think it's, a, it's like a sixteenth of an inch, yeah. so it's you it's can't fine. tell. Alright, let's get them glued. Okay. Are you just eyeballing them in here and then measuring the top? I'm just double checking the bottom as well. And then yes, so I'm, I'm measuring both just because why not? Now's the time to double check it all. what it is okay um maybe we start on the like on one side you know like start on those two corners and then we'll slowly work our way down this way on each we'll end work on that one i'll work on this okay well we need to get the ends on first yeah that's true so go down and get them Yeah, 
I can't get it to do anything. Whoa! What are you doing? I don't know, the whole thing You just suck it off. Okay. got that expanding foam out of your fur. Irene, no, she's going to do it over now there. Now you got wood glue. You keep your tail away from things. No. Irene, sit down. No. She's already inflicted on things, so. <laughs> There's two spots on there. She got it twice. Yeah, I just got them all. Now they're all stuck in there. And now she's going to have a hard pointy tail, too. <laughs> you just wait. I know it's confusing. You're not in trouble. It's just... You just wait. Alright. It's going to slip right on. Oh, Except for that one. It's not going to do that. I can't tell if that's on there or not. Well, it's close. <laughs> We're going to have to clean up.
and we're moving inside. I got all my pieces cut for the changing table. So let's see if I uh, nailed it first try and got all the pieces right. Off of my drawing. I think the only one that I want to change is that center one. Would you have to cut a new one? Since you yeah, it, it's a little short. I want an eighth inch longer. The only reason I got even sand is because of the knots. The weird grain pattern makes weird tear out spots. So I just gotta sand them out and really what I did is I just made myself a nice workbench in here. Everything's sanded. I can start some assembly now, at least. She's just enjoying being out in the warm. Mm -hmm. Warmish. Still cold. She likes the sun. Yeah, she likes being in the sun. Not quite thick enough. This can get set aside to dry. Think 
bottom needs loosened. Well, we want this to be equally sitting. Yeah, that's better. Okay, well, now we just gotta wait for stuff to dry. And then move, glue some more. It's kind of the theme of this project. <clears throat> glue and dry. Time to glue side two. I'll do the tape glue. Moment of truth. Is it gonna hold? Yeah. I mean, it's not the strongest thing. Ooh! My foot! Okay. Oh, it's gonna hold. Oh, it's gonna hold. it'll become more rigid once I put the other pieces in. I was gonna say, this is just a little bit. Shove it in there. Shove it in. Snug, that's for sure. That's fine. That is fine. Yep. Stack whatever else in here, diapers and stuff. Good enough. on the crib itself.
forgot that I wanted to router these so they slid into the crib nice and easy without having to get them perfect with this hard corner. And then I'll probably router the ends too just to try and make it softer so there's no sharp points underneath. I don't know what happened. The uh, the bit ended up coming out farther and causing this big groove. So I'm just gonna sand this one and make it look right. This one came out right, but yeah, I don't. Just part way through this one, it looks like it just slowly started dropping. But I guess I got some sanding to do while I'm waiting for this to dry.
want it? I think so. Get some diapers thrown in there and stuff. It fits. <laughs> I don't know. This is size five. I don't know how don't the know. one, I don't know. I'm guessing they'll probably just be like stacked up like that. Sure. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. You can even slide it back. got one more step for the crib and that's to get some legs on the bottom. I decided not to do the four corner post legs. I'm going to get some two by nine boards and stand them on end and attach them so that the leg is front to back on both sides and then I have room to slide my bins underneath. So I don't have any logs down big enough to get a 2 by 9 out of. So I've got to go get a tree down, find one big enough for it without splits in the base, get that over to the sawmill, mill my 2 by 9s run them through the planer, get them all ready, then cut them to length, and then we'll be able to get them on this. So I'm going to get to it. I shouldn't have to record it. You've seen plenty of me milling and dropping trees, so... Just gonna go get them ready. It's only gonna take me like five minutes anyway. So while Cody is outside cutting down the tree, hauling it to the house, milling it, getting it to the size so that we can finish off this crib, I figured this would be a pretty good chance for me to kind of pick some stuff up and kind of play the shuffling game with all of our stuff again to find a place for this crib to go. Now I'm kind of guessing there's a good chance that it might end up just sitting like smack dab in the living room here, um, especially close to the couch, just like when we first get back home. Um, but I also think that I would really like to be able to have it kind of where our water tanks are sitting right now. So I'm not putting it aside that it'll probably end up just sitting in the middle of the space, but I at least want to have it cleared off and temporarily have it pushed up against the wall kind of right here because um, this is where I'm hoping it'll sit at least for the time being. There's a chance that we might end up putting it up in our loft but again I don't know we're just gonna play it little bit by little bit um, just kind of see how it goes as everything transitions and changes for us. So right now the plan is crib is gonna try to sit here. So um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to move everything. I know that we've been drinking out of that water tank, so it's mostly, it's a lot lighter. I can move that one by myself, but this one is still pretty much full, so I probably won't even try to move it. I might just wait for Cody to come back in and help me move it later. Um, but at least everything else, I can kinda shift around, get cleaned up a bit, and then hopefully we can kinda have our little crib set up. We're not gonna put any sheets or anything on there because we're still doing stuff in the house, so it's still getting dusty. So I think I'm gonna wait until as last minute as possible to put our clean sheets and everything um, on all of that stuff, but at least be put in place. So that's the goal. Cleaning, organizing, <laughs> shuffling. And I know that Cody said it was gonna take him about five minutes to get this tree cut down and milled, but I'm just hoping he will be home by dark with the wood brought inside <laughs> and it doesn't take him all day long. Or at least I hope it doesn't take him more than just today.
So these two baskets, I guess, um, is kind of filled with all of the clothes and the sheets and the towels or cloths, just kind of all those things that we want to get washed um, for. I think we did newborn to three months is the range that we're doing. So this is everything that we have right now for that, that um, again, it's probably going to be either the next time or the time after that that we go do laundry. We'll probably bring all this with, get it all washed up nice, and then we'll be ready to go for that. And the goal is that a lot of this stuff will be able to fit in one of those clear totes that we're hoping to be able to slide underneath the crib. So I'm hoping the legs fit for that. Um, so that's, I think, kind of what our storage solution is going to be for the time being. I think I just want both of them just kind of shifted that way. Oh, oh, this one? This one too. Yeah. Just pass where those little lights are hanging. As long as it's that far. think that's bad at all what do you think about that I don't think that's too bad I know we said it was gonna be a tight walkway uh, that's not but bad. once with, you move that stuff it'll be fine yeah, yeah that's perfectly fine. all right well now that I have both simultaneously cleaned up a little bit and make a made a bigger mess of the house <laughs> I think we're gonna just leave it here until we get those legs put on because can't really move other things because we're just gonna have to move this back out to work on it so but that's okay we're getting closer I finished getting my boards milled I went and cut a tree down that I thought was big enough to get my nine and a half inches so I can plane it down to nine uh, ran into a couple issues first of all the tree was rotted on the first like 12 14 feet so the bottom I wasn't able to even use and then it didn't turn out being big enough above that point for me to get my nine and a half inches. And then on top of that, of course, my planer can't actually do nine and a half inches tall. So it's ripped down the table saw, so I probably didn't need it to be nine and a half. I could have got away with just the nine, but it gives me enough wiggle room. But we ended up getting seven inch pieces. And instead of making them by two, I made them by three and I'm just going to make these pieces grow by adding another two inch piece. Nothing some glue won't fix, right? I'm just impressed that you're figuring out how to make a tree grow after it's been cut down. I'll make my tree grow. battery. 
furry. got my boards plain after gluing them so this seam is perfectly flat with each other and then I cut my angles on them I actually cut them at the uh, 31.6 which is the exact same as our a frame and now we're gonna screw them on there and we should be all good to go should I put some glue on there too probably might as well we glued everything so <laughs> might as well glue it I can't not glue it now can't not glue it <laughs> I gotta test out baby jail first, huh? You sure do. Okay. Make sure I don't break it. Yeah, those are pretty thin inside pieces. Okay. Got the glue. Very, very close. Right there.
make me laugh. It hurts. Uh, um. I could make this easier. I took the router. The crib is finally complete. All we have to do is paint it, but that has to wait till we have the warmer months. So here's a quick look at it.